Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I'm Patrice and today we are going to be doing a little bit of sublimation. Okay y'all, so if this is your first time here, please be sure to check the other content out and if you enjoyed that content, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, head over to Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok and join the Craftable Things communities there as well. For my returning subscribers and members, hey y'all, welcome back. So today, I am going to be making these sublimation pillows. I have an order for these and this is actually one of the pillows that I've made. And I got the blank or the pillowcase cover from Amazon. So... Before I began getting blanks and things in bulk from overseas, Amazon was my go-to spot for sublimation blanks. And when I tell y'all, they did not disappoint me with this material, with this sublimation pillowcase cover. They did not disappoint me. And as you all can see, our final project came out amazing. The colors look good. The pillow looks great. And so we are going to walk through the steps of getting one of these done. Let's get started. Okay, y'all, so here's the pillowcase that we're going to be using. This pillowcase came from Amazon. It is for sublimation. I really like this, the feel of this pillowcase. It's not the typical satin type of pillowcase. And the listing says that these are 18 by 18. So I just wanna double check and make sure, and it's always good to make sure uh, when you're making these types of items just to make sure the sizing is correct so now i know that the sizing is correct we're going to head over to adobe illustrator and we're going to design our image okay y'all so today we're going to start in adobe illustrator and i'm just going to simply put this together the size of the pillow is an 18 by 18 and i'm working on a 19 by 19 canvas the first thing I want to do is go ahead and place the photos that we're going to be using for today's pillow project on the canvas. All right, so I'm just going to place them here. Okay, and then I am actually going to begin to resize the photos just to see how exactly we want to place them on the pillow. I don't want to distort the photos too much. So I'm just resizing them a little bit. Some of them I might end up cropping like this one so that we can get a better picture of the, of the dog. I may just crop this off a little bit, but we'll see. So I have them resized a bit, but I want to just go ahead and maybe crop a few of them. So in order to crop them, I'm just going to select the photo and we have this cute one selected. And at the top, I'm going to select crop image. And now I'll be able to kind of size it where I want it to be sized at. And I can remove some of this space at the top that we don't really need. And I think that looks great. So I'm gonna to continue to do that for some of the other pictures. Another way to do something similar, let's say you want to do it a specific size and you want your pictures to be a specific size, you can create a shape by selecting the tool, drop down on the side and create a rectangle or square, depending on whatever it is that you wanna do. And once you have that created, you can do a cutting mask. And so I'm just going to place this on top of the parts of the photo that I want. And once I have both of those selected, so I'm going to select the square and also the photo behind, I am going to head up to object and head down to clipping mask and click make. So you can do that with whatever shape that you want to use. All right, guys. So I'm done making any adjustments to the 
design for the pillow. I'm going to select print. And we are going to be using our Epson EcoTank 15000, which is a Epson printer with sublimation ink inside of it. I'm just going to head to page setup. We will be printing this on a 13 by 19 sheet. And the Epson EcoTank 15000 can print up to 13 inches wide. I'm going to click setup. And now we're just going to adjust our printer options. So for the print settings, I'm going to keep this on plain paper. We're going to adjust the print quality to quality and I am going to click mirror image. For color options, we're just going to click advance and I am going to click Adobe RGB and we're going to leave it at a 2.2 gamma. Now this is a larger sheet, so we need to tile it. And so to tile it, I need to just make sure that media is adjusted again. We're going to select Super B 13 by 19. I'm going to click OK. And now that updated the media on the screen. And so I need to tile this. And so I'm going to click scaling and the drop down menu. And we're going to click tile full pages. Now that we have that tile to full pages, this is pretty much where the breakup is going to be. And I actually think I might want to do this in landscape and not necessarily have this print in portrait. So here I'm going to adjust the orientation. And then that way, I think I can kind of break it where it won't be so noticeable. So we'll probably put our break right here. As you see, that is where the break would be. So I don't really have to worry too much about putting things together. I want to make sure that there's an overlap because if I don't, some of the print will get cut off. And so my overlap is going to be a quarter of an inch. So I'm just going to do 0.25. And that is going to be our overlay. And this is looking great. Now I'm ready to print. For the next step, we're going to need some heat tape and we just need to piece our image together. I am going to cut away some of the, the areas on the side just so that I don't get any unwanted prints on our pillow. All right, and then we are going to piece it together. You kind of always want to make sure you cut those edges because sometimes ink finds its way there and you don't want that to mess up your project. So next we are going to go for this portion. I'm just going to cut the bottom because we're going to piece it together. So we only have one place where we need to make sure that it connects. And so that's going to be pretty pretty easy. This is a pretty easy piece together for us. You want to make sure all of that white is off. Again, I'm going to cut these edges. I don't want anything going on to our pillowcase. It doesn't need to be there. All right, so now we're going to piece this together and I just need to make sure that this lines up as it should 
and that's fairly simple and because this isn't an all over print I can go ahead and put some tape here because it's not going to affect any of the other areas just so that I can make sure that it stays exactly where I want it to stay but this looks pretty good I may just kind of tilt it over just a tad there we go so I'm just going to get a small piece of the heat tape we're going to get a small piece of the heat tape and we're just going to tape right here this is fairly easy for us to do all right so then we're going to just put this over and the area that needs to be together is right here I'm just gonna I don't want it to shift all right so here is the design for our pillow so we need to prep our heat press and our pillowcase so I'm going to start off by putting a piece of butcher paper on the bottom of our heat press and also you want to make sure that you lint roll your pillowcases. And then I want to cover this with another piece of butcher paper just because I don't want anything that might be on the Teflon at the top to get onto it. Also it's zipped up and I usually like to just unzip it when I'm pressing pillows. So we're going to do a quick press. And that should be enough. I am going to increase the pressure just a tad. Okay, that should be good. Alright guys, so we're going to get ready to press one side of the pillow. And I am actually going to lay it this way so I can be able to see it a lot better. Okay, so I know that the middle photo here in the center, that photo should be very close to the top. So we're all good. And I'm going to get some heat tape and just tape that pillow cover down this way. Go ahead and tape all parts of the pillow. Tape it down. Okay, and now we're going to be ready to press our pillow. Alright guys, so now we're at the heat press and I'm just going to place this here. Uh, the pillow, most of the pillow will fit under the press, but there will be a little part at the bottom that will not fit, so I'll have to uh, either swish it around just so that we can be able to get that pressed. We need to protect our press, so we're going to place a little bit of butcher paper on top. I'm going to make sure that pressure is good and we're ready to press it. And today we're pressing this at 380 degrees for 50 seconds. Alright, so the first press is done. Now we're just going to turn the pillow around so that we can get the bottom part that did not sub. That was very, a very, very small amount that didn't sub, but we're going to move it around. Now I would suggest being very careful when moving your print like this. So I'm probably going to get some heat tape and just tape it down. I'm going to put this and turn it around. And I'm just going to bring it down just a tad. 
it's still taped on here nicely so that's good and i'm just going to bring it down to about right, right here and then we're going to press it again uh -oh. let me put my butcher paper back on top that is all done and I can see some of that image coming through that side so let's Let's head to the table and we will reveal it there. All right, guys. So we are done under the press and let's reveal our pillow cover. Now, I would recommend kind of taking a sneak peek under the heat press. I was fairly confident that this was going to work out, so I moved it because if you kind of take a sneak peek under the heat press, you can tell if something is wrong. So I would totally recommend that, especially if you are new. But so far, it's looking pretty good. And I think that came out really really nicely so i'm going to go ahead and sub the other side and then i'll meet you guys back for our recap once we have the pillow stuffed all right, y'all, so we are all done with subbing this pillow. I do have another one that I need to make because she ordered two of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and make these, but y'all look how nice this came out. These sublimation pillow covers from Amazon are really, really amazing. I will have a link listed below in the description for everything that I used for today's project. But y'all, I'm loving this. <laughs> now I want to make me a pillow. I haven't made a sublimation pillow in so long and I forgot how cool they turned out. I used to make tons of the educational pillowcases for younger kids, but y'all, this looks really good. So I'll have everything listed below, including the pillow insert that I used for today. If you enjoyed this video or learned something new, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also head over to Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok and join the Craftable Things communities there as well. But that's it for today, y'all. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time.